Hi, do you have furniture that's scratchy, watchy, and uh, all these sliders don't work? Well, I took matters into my own hands, and I bought one of the floaters, the swimming pool floaters, from the dollar store, tied it up, uh, kind of like uh, shaped it out around here so it could go in nicely and over here. And now I'm about to do the same thing on the other leg. Because it did come with sliders, but I tend to see some scratches on my floor that were never there until I got this um, rocker uh, recliner. Okay, these sliders are not working. So I am cutting an opening on this, uh, if you can see, on this uh, swimming pool uh, thing. And they only sell this in the winter, so... I mean, in the summer, so it's good to stock up on a couple of these because it's coming very handy on a few levels. These things are very handy. In fact, whenever you need shipping material, I actually stock up on my shipping material because I feel when I, when I um, move, I'm already equipped. And I just keep it on the side for when I do move. It's an easy and smooth thing to do. I know. You may think uh, something's wrong with me, right? So now, here's the opening that I created. Okay. So now I'm going to measure it into this area here because... Let me adjust this a little bit. Hold on. Because we have to make sure it goes around that this lump here. Okay, so you see this lump here? So I know I'm no contractor. Any contractor will probably laugh at me. It's like, oh, really? Really? Duh. But maybe they never even thought of it, though. So I could cut this up to here. It's a little uh, longer than it should be. So here we go. I didn't cut the other one at all. Maybe I'll just leave it. So what if it's a little extra? Now, I'm going to cut it because it is standing up. And I guess I did cut the first one a little bit. I don't know. I don't see it. All right. So now we're getting ready to mold it, right? So we're going to put it here. And from here to here... I'm going to cut an opening, okay? So from here to here. So I'm cutting an opening now to accommodate that little area there. And I'll do the same thing at, down at the bottom because it has another piece of wood there that would interfere with the snuggy wuggy fit, right? So I already cut the opening here, as you can see, to accommodate this. But now there's another opening down at the bottom. Uh, so I just measure it with my fingers. It's simple enough. It is simple enough to do. Very simple. And it's only really for protection of my furniture, so it doesn't have to be to perfection. But so far, it is working well. Okay, so now we have the big insert. The big insert provision. And the smaller one. So now we're ready to open this up and make it fit. You see that? And I know... Men will be laughing at me, but not that full woman at all. Okay, so now I'm going to widen the opening down here. Because the measurement wasn't perfect because the top did not align with it as perfectly. And there we go. So now it should fit perfectly. I will continue with my mission. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> to perfection. Look at that. To perfection. Same as the other one. Now the other one I put a little bit of tying up so it won't come out loosely that easily. Although this 
cheap kind of rope kind of thing, like for roaster ovens and set, or from the dollar store. And so I'm not going to be seeing, unless this thing comes off, right? I don't anticipate seeing any more scratches. Ah, so here we go. So I'm going to throw some rope down here, just so you can see. Could you see? I don't think you can see as well. Okay. Throw some rope down here. Uh, probably make this go. I'm making it happen one way or the other. So I don't want it to cut to um, interfere with the springs, however because I don't want it to get entangled there at some point. But all I'm trying to do is create a tight tight bond at some point. Uh, what I need to do is make this go around at least one time. if it had something coming in from this portion but it doesn't seem to be clicking that way so let me see if maybe I could end the tail over here just something that would hold hopefully it will be permanent because it's not I do drag it up a, a little. I tend to push it back sometimes. I got to be gentle knowing that they're very, very gentle ropes here. I could wear off and snap. Okay, so if you never thought of, if you're wanting to get rid of your recliner, there's still hope. That's all I'm saying. I'm no expert, but I made it happen, right? So now the two parts that scratch up the floor, even with the sliders, should be fully protected, and I hope it lasts for a while. Thank you for watching. And let me just show you the final episode when I put the recliner back up. I'll be right back. Okay, so now my recliner is put on right, and what I love about it even better is that it does not slide because typically when I'm rocking or when I'm reclining, it always slides an inch or whatever, which is what's causing the fuddy duddy uh, scratches on the floor. So now I actually accidentally uh, resolved another problem that when I rock, it will stay exactly where it is. And on top of it, if it did move while I moved, then it would not scratch. Wonderful, wonderful Bravo idea. Bye now.